Hi, I'm Graham Moyle from the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital. One of the big changes that has occurred in HIV infection this year is understanding that if we can identify people and treat them early, we can protect them against serious illnesses related to HIV and other serious illnesses such as malignancy, which may be triggered by HIV, by getting them onto treatment promptly. To achieve that, we've got to increase testing and diagnosis rates. And that means encouraging people to come forward for testing and not thinking that there is a stigma associated with having an HIV in, uh, a test, but that it's a necessary thing to look after their life and look after their health. We also know that treating HIV infection protects people from transmitting to their partners and loved ones. So treatment does two things. It helps look after somebody's own life and health, and it helps look after the life of their partner and those around them that they care about. So coming forward for treatment, getting on board with testing, and then getting involved in a treatment program is really critical for changing the way in which we look at HIV infection in our society. If we stop transmitting HIV infection through treating everyone that's infected, we're going to potentially have an AIDS-free generation of people infected with HIV who won't get ill, and also an HIV-free generation where we'll have no new transmissions of HIV within the population. The WHO is starting with these guidelines of 90-90-90. Find 90% 90 of the infected population, treat 90% of that infected population and get their virus fully under control. But that's just for a 2020 target. Beyond that, we want to really be aim aiming for 100, 100, 100, where we'll be preventing transmission of HIV infection and keeping everyone with HIV in our community well long term and giving them the opportunity of a normalised life expectancy through the incredible medications that have been developed over the last 30 years of HIV. Thank you very much.